uh, flexibility and gate opening effects in uh, morphs may be exploited to achieve uh, difficult separations. As an example, let's consider the uh, separation of C2H2, CO2 mixtures. The uh, boiling points are close together. The sizes of the molecules are um, also similar, CO2 being slightly smaller. C2H2 has a slightly higher polarizability. The quadrupole moments are opposite in sign, and the magnitude of the quadrupole moment of uh, C2H2 is slightly larger. In a recent paper, in uh, Nano Research, published uh, in 2022, it is reported that a pillared metal organic framework ZNU5 with uh, ultra micropores has high selectivity towards uh, C2H2 and uh, the mixture separations is achieved through uh, gate opening effects that also result in molecular sieving in favor of uh, acetylene. I um, analyzed uh, this mixture separation and we begin our discussions by examining the urinary isotherms in ZNU5. The uh, urinary isotherm data for C2H2, CO2, and C2H4 at four different temperatures, 263 Kelvin, 273 Kelvin, 298 Kelvin, 313 Kelvin, are plotted here as a function of the surface potential. The surface potential is uh, defined uh, by this expression, where the component loadings are described by the dual Langmuir Freundlich isotherms. The uh, parameters BA and BB are both temperature dependent with two different energy parameters EA and EB. The advantage of plotting the uh, component loadings versus the uh, surface potential rather than uh, the bulk pressure is that uh, the uh, isotherm data at the various temperatures collapse into a single curve that allows uh, fitting with the uh, dual site langmuir freundlich model. We note that both C2H2 and CO2 show uh, strong inflections and uh, C2H4, on the other hand, exhibits only a minor inflection. The uh, temperature dependent Langmuir Freundlich parameters are available in this uh, publication. For further information on uh, the concept of the surface potential, watch my uh, video. On this topic, see also uh, the presentation on uh, how to fit uh, unary isotherms and uh, calculate the isosteric heat of absorption. But we proceed further with analyzing uh, mixture separations in ZNU5, in which uh, these components, especially C2H2, has a very strong isotherm inflection. The uh, strong isotherm inflections observed in the uh, foregoing slide have severe consequences for the uh, absorption selectivity for 50-50 mixtures. Uh, the IAST calculations are shown here for 50-50 mixtures of C2H2CO2 
shown in black and the red line shows the uh, absorption selectivity for mixtures of C2H2 and C2H4. The uh, details of the IST calculations are available in this uh, paper in Nano Research 2022. Watch also my um, YouTube video on the IAST calculations for mixture absorption equilibrium. We uh, now demonstrate that the uh, inflections in isotherms and selectivities as observed here has severe consequences for mixture separations in uh, fixed beds packed with the uh, flexible morph ZNU5. We consider transient breakthroughs of a mixture of uh, C2H2 and CO2, 50-50 mixtures in a fixed bed packed with the uh, flexible morph uh, ZNU5 operating at a total pressure of 100 kilopascal and a temperature of 298 Kelvin. I examine here the uh, development of the molar concentrations of C2H2 and CO2 as they uh, traverse the uh, bed. The uh, animations will show the molar concentrations in the bulk gas mixture. This position here is uh, the entrance to the fixed bed. Um, this position here is the uh, exit of the fixed bed. The, uh, the y-axis is uh, the molar concentrations in the units of moles per cubic meter. Let's uh, see the development of uh, the concentrations. The blue line represents the concentrations of um, CO2 in the uh, bulk gas phase and the red line is the molar concentration of um, C2H2 in the uh, bulk gas phase. Recall that C2H2 has a strong isotherm inflection and this gets reflected in uh, a step in the uh, front of C2H2 as it traverses the column. CO2 traverses the fixed bed much more rapidly than C2H2 because C2H2 is more strongly absorbed, therefore it is more strongly retained within the pores and consequently has a higher, con uh, lower concentration in the bulk gas mixture. Conversely, CO2 is poorly absorbed in the uh, pores and is predominantly present in the uh, bulk gas space. Note that there is a step in the uh, front of C2H2 as it traverses the column and this front also has an influence on the uh, molar concentration of CO2 in the bulk gas phase. We also note a, uh, an oscillatory behavior of CO2. This oscillatory behavior is engendered, engendered by the uh, isotherm inflection and uh, more flexibility. The CO2 traverses the uh, column and exits the fixed bed at this time. C2H2 lags behind and exits the column significantly later. 
In this graph, I uh, compare the uh, transient breakthrough simulations for the uh, concentrations at the exit made dimensionless by dividing by the uh, concentrations at the inlet. The red lines are for CO2 and the blue line is for C2H2. The continuous lines are based on the transient breakthrough simulation shown in the foregoing slide. The uh, symbols shown here are experimental data. And we note that there is reasonable quantitative agreement between uh, the experimental data published in this paper and the transient breakthrough simulations. I invite you to look at the uh, step in the uh, Breakthrough here, as uh, anticipated in the simulations, and this stepwise behavior is also experienced in the breakthrough experiments. The x-axis is a modified time parameter where the time t in seconds is multiplied by q0, which is the volumetric flow rate at the inlet, they expressed as liters per second divided by the mass of adsorbent in the bed in uh, kilograms. This is a convenient parameter for uh, representing uh, the uh, breakthrough data from uh, experiments and comparing these with uh, transient breakthrough simulations. The corresponding uh, data for the desorption of C2H2 and CO2 are shown here on the right hand side in which the uh, dimensionless concentrations of the exit are plotted against the uh, modified time parameter and we note here the, the uh, Breakthrough simulations shown by the continuous blue and red lines are in reasonably good agreement with the experimental data on uh, these options. The message that emerges from these uh, comparisons are that uh, for flexible MOVs, we have um, strong isotherm inflections and this gets reflected in uh, IAST calculations of mixture absorption selectivity and component breakthroughs. The component breakthroughs show stepwise behavior. A completely analogous situation holds for separations of mixtures of nitrous oxide and carbon dioxide in flexible ZIF7 and I invite you to uh, examine uh, this paper published in Journal of Physical Chemistry in 2014.